What is up, my friend? Welcome to your Kickboxing 101 intro class. My name is Coach Cole, also known as The Killer, and I'm super happy to be able to get this opportunity to guide you through this first-time kickboxing class. Now, what I want you to do first is we've got to start with a warm-up, right? We don't just want to jump into it. So put your feet about a little bit wider than shoulder width, and I want you to push that butt back. Slightly bend your knees, left hand inside the left knee, and we're just gonna do a thoracic rotation here. We're gonna open up and come back down. Focusing on your breath here. You have a lot of movement uh, when we do kickboxing, so we wanna make sure our spine is ready to go. Let's do one more here. And take it down, now simply switch. Again, keep that arm straight. Push through the right knee to rotate and open up. Good. Inhale and exhale. Let's get one good one here. Now let's go ahead and bring those hands on our knees. Point your fingers inward. Now you're gonna do is you're gonna arch your back when your knees are bent, look up, and then when you tuck in your tail, I want you to tuck down and look down. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale, tuck your tail in, look down. We're gonna do a couple of times here. Let's go up two more. One more. And back to flat back. Now let's go ahead and interlace your fingers here. A little more rotation and power. You're gonna push through your left foot and rotate up towards that ceiling. That heel comes up a little bit. Bring it, come back down and push through. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna go for two more. One more. And simply switch over. Notice how my knees are bent here. And switch up. Good, and rotate. Two more. Last one here. And go ahead and open up those arms like a giant X. Right hand, left toe. Left hand, right toe. Do your best to keep those legs straight. Bend a little bit if you need to. Let's go for two more. Good, make sure your eyes are following the direction of the turn, right? And triple tap down the center. Hands go down, one, two, three and then rise up, one, two, three, and rise up. Try to see if you can reach a little bit further back behind you. Now we get deeper into those hammies. Let's go one more time here. And from there, hands up, behind the head. Bring those feet just tight in, and body weighted squats. You're gonna go all the way down, and come back up. Do your best to keep those knees behind the toes. Also, keep that chest proud. Let's go here for four. Three, two, and one. Holding it down at the bottom, elbows go underneath those knees. We're gonna just shift here a little bit left to right, getting those hips to open up a little bit more. Nice, now you're gonna grab onto your toes. Don't let them go, okay? Butt's gonna go up, crown of the head is gonna face down to the floor. So you're gonna go up. Now we're gonna do the same direction. We're gonna drop the butt down and pick up our head towards the ceiling. So we're gonna do that a couple times here. Exhale, push, and come back up. Go as far as you can. Remember not to force anything. Always listening to our bodies. Let's go for one more here and hold it. Now I'm gonna turn this way just so you can see what I'm doing, but I want you to walk out and you're gonna hold a high plank position. Make sure those hands are under the shoulders. You're gonna step that right foot all the way forward outside of the right hand and you're gonna dig those hips down. Just gentle pulses here, stretching that hip flexor. And let's go ahead and open up, right rotation. Good, now let's take it back down. We gotta do the same thing on the other side. So let's bring it up and big pulses here. Especially if you're sitting down all day, you gotta make sure you're stretching. And let's go ahead and open up on the left. Ooh. And back down. Now we're just gonna go ahead and do this a couple times, back and forth. Ooh. Every time, do your best to sink your hip just a little bit lower. Ooh. Let's go one more here. Ooh. Last one on the right. Ooh. And downward dog. You're gonna pedal those feet up and down, just like that. Last thing I want you to do, my friend, is drop those knees down. 
tabletop position. Let's start on the right side. Now we gotta make sure those hips are nice and mobile. So we're gonna do fire hydrants here. We're gonna lift on the right and come back down. Try not to let your right knee tap the left. So we're always keeping a slight distance between the two. Good, now what we're gonna do is draw circles with our right knee. You're gonna draw circles going forward. So big circles forward, loosening up those hips even more. Now we did one direction, so we gotta do the opposite direction. Let's switch it up. Do your best not to bend those elbows. I know your shoulders are probably feeling it right now. And take it back down and switch it to the left. We're gonna do left by our hydrants here. Again, during your warm up, you're not looking for a burn factor. You're just focusing on mobility, right? Connecting with our body. And let's bring that knee into a big circle. Once again, trying not to shift our weight. And switch directions. Good. Now we're gonna finish here with a downward dog again. So we're gonna push our butt up. Pedal those feet just a couple times, one more time. Now, let's go ahead and walk those hands up and jumping jacks just to get that body moving a little bit. Open and close those arms. Now, don't get me wrong, my friends. Just because it's an intro class doesn't mean you're not going to be sweating. Now, let's go ahead and bring those heels up. Try to reach that booty. Lean a little forward. You should feel a little stretch in the quads there. That's it. And switch to a jump rope. Feet up and down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Notice that I've wrapped my hands. This is specifically to protect your knuckles and wrists, okay? So make sure that you're wrapped up. Now let's go ahead and grab our gloves. And listen, you don't necessarily have to have all this equipment. If you need to, do it without your gloves, do it without the bag, and you can just simply follow along with what we call the shadow boxing. So you're definitely welcome to do that as well. No excuses, team. So, gloves on, wrap it up around nice and tight now in kickboxing there's two different stances you got your main stance for people that are right-handed dominant so that's going to be the left foot forward and the right foot back known as an orthodox stance now there's also the opposite side with which you would put your right foot forward and your left foot back and that is your southpaw stance lucky for you we're going to be practicing both so i'm going to personally start with my left foot forward go ahead and follow me through so we don't get lost so we're gonna go ahead and be right in front of our back. You gotta measure your distance first, right? We don't wanna be too short, and we don't wanna be so far that we can hyperextend, right? We don't wanna be hyperextending our joints here. So, measure the distance with that front arm. Perfect distance here. Now, the hands go right here at the temple, about eyebrow level. Do your best not to close yourself up. You gotta make sure you can see. Now, so you can see me, I'm gonna turn to the camera. You want to make sure that your feet aren't aligned in the back, right? Let's call this a tight rope. You don't want to be on a tight rope. You want to think about putting one foot on one rail and then the other foot on the other rail. So you got two tracks coming through. All right, so always be mindful of your foot placement. So we're going to go back to our bag here, making sure our feet are nice and wide apart, right? Now our hands are up here. First punch I'm going to teach you, my fighter, is going to be the left jab. So the left jab, I like to call it like the speed punch. It's more of a quick little snap of the punch. It goes from your body all the way out to your target and you return right back to where you started. So remember, those hands always stay protecting the face. So now we're gonna do that left jab. Now keep in mind that when you're kickboxing, you're not just gonna be using that arm extension. This is not just what's happening. You're using the hip power to rotate into the punch. So keeping those hands up, I want you to loosen those shoulders and I want you to really pay attention to those hips. So bend the knee so you're not locked up. Bend it. Now as you extend the left arm, I want you to gently rotate that left hip. You're gonna bring it in, and you're gonna come out, all the way out, all the way in. So this is the left jab. Now feel the power coming from the ground up. Now we're not going fast yet. We're still taking our time here. Making sure the upper body and the lower body are connecting through our core. So your abs are tight. Now let's go ahead and snap the punch a little bit. The moment you tap the bag, you're gonna come right back in. So let's focus on the hips. One, two, three, four, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the left jab, okay? Now the right cross, in contrast to the jab, is gonna be more for power. Why? Because you got that hind leg right here. Your right hand dominant, 
you're dominant on that right side, which means you get to push a little bit more of your body weight in there with more strength. So now we're here, we got that jab down for speed. We're gonna come in for that cross for power. So it's the same technique of extending the arm and coming back in. But keep in notice, that right foot in the back, the heel is gonna lift up as you rotate through the ball of the foot and you come right back down. So now you're pushing through the ground straight into the cross, right? So we're here, still feet apart, hands are up. We're gonna go ahead and extend, pivot through the foot as you push through the ground so that the arm can go through and run right back again. Go out and come back in. Go out and come back in. Now we're gonna add that little pop. The moment you tap the bag, I want you returning to your face. Ready? And boom, one, boom, two, boom, three. Let's go for 10, okay? Here we go. There we go. That's it, a lot of core work in there. We got that jab cross going on. Now what you're gonna do is put them both together. Now when you're doing your kickboxing, you don't wanna be all over the place unless the instructor tells you to be. You wanna make sure you have some rhythm. Kickboxing is like a dance. So keep those hands up. We're gonna do the left jab first, then the right cross, and we're gonna pause, okay? We're gonna go back and forth on those feet just like that. You wanna stay moving when you're kickboxing. You don't wanna just stand still until the next combo comes up. You gotta stay engaged, okay? So we're gonna do that jab cross and we're gonna pause. So one, two, and pause, okay? When I say go, you go. Go, and return. Try to go as fast as you can, one up to the other. One hand always stays at the face. And go, good, again, go. Go, go, yes, go. Notice your feet, move with your punches. Good, again, power from the hips, not the shoulders. Keep your shoulders light. Now I'm gonna tell you to go speed jab cross, okay? You're gonna go as fast as you can using those hips, extending those arms all the way. Don't bend them, keep them out all the way. In three, two, one, go. Always breathing through the punches. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, so you got your jab cross down. One and two, now we gotta get into the hooks. Now fighter, keep in mind when you're doing hooks, you gotta get a little bit closer to your target. And I say a little bit, I mean a lot closer, okay? So jab distance, nice far length arm, length arm away. Your hooks, you gotta step in close, all right? I personally like to put my foot a little bit more towards the side of the bag since it's pretty thick out. And my right foot is nice and back. I'm not too far from the bad guy. My face is pretty, pretty close there. Hands are here. Now let's start with our left side again, right? Why not? Keep those hands up. Elbows are tight to the body. Now in order to begin the left hook, we have to load our left hook, right? So let's begin by dropping that left elbow. So simply keep it bent, but drop it down next to the rib cage, right here. Now what I want you to do is lift it up. Keep your thumb pointing up to the ceiling. All right, like that. Now check it out. My shoulder is aligned with my elbow here, and my elbow is aligned with my wrist. So we got that 90 degree going on at the top. So all we did was drop the elbow down next to the rib cage, and we picked it up to the side. Now we're gonna use our hips to rotate into the side of the bag now. Think about the temple of the bag. It would be more or less right around here on the side. So we're gonna use our hips to rotate. So again, elbow comes down. We bring it up to the top, making sure that our, my forearm is away from my shoulder, right? And then I'm gonna use my hip to rotate around. Keep in mind that you want your elbow just slightly higher than those knuckles. Try not to come in with your elbow down here. You can cause some damage to your body, which is what we don't want. So, elbow stays nice and high. Reset, let's go ahead and put it to practice. Left elbow goes down, bring it up to the top. Now let's rotate into that hip and come back in. Think about going through the bag as you do the hook. So again, let's go down. Inhale down hook and come back in. Bring it down and come back down. Let's go five, okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good, 
always take the time to reset. Don't be doing this thing, all right? This looks horrible. Definitely don't want you to do that. All right, let's bring it all the way down and around into that hook. Now you got that left hook down, we gotta do the right hook. Same technique, right? Everything that you have on that back foot, that just means you're gonna do a little bit more of a pivot. That's the only difference. But it's the same technique to load. So we're here. Remember the right elbow is now gonna go down next to the rib cage. We're gonna lift it up. Keep your thumb towards the ceiling. Now that you can see me a little bit better, see how much distance I have? This is not where you wanna be. You wanna come here. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our hips to rotate as if we're going across our own chin. Okay, so again, notice my foot pivots. Elbow comes down, bring it to the top. And now from here, I push through the floor and I rotate in. Again, elbow slightly higher than the wrist. If you're landing your hooks like this, you're gonna cause a little damage, so be careful. Pay attention. So we're here again. We're gonna bring that right elbow down next to rib cage. Bring it up like a little chicken wing here. Now we're gonna pivot, going through the bag. Again, down and around. Let's go ahead and do some five. Let's do five, okay? In three, two, and go. One, two, always reset. Three, four, five. All right, so you got your hooks on the left and you got your hooks on the right. We gotta put these together though. So we're gonna do a left hook and a right hook. Always take your time to reset. Hooks are meant for power, all right? So don't hurry yourself out. I want you to learn it right. So we're gonna do that left hook, right hook, and reset, again. Reset, again. Reset, again. Reset. Go again. One more time. And breathe, 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 breathe. Notice, the more comfortable you get, your feet begin to move more with you. That's gonna be better for you because you're gonna have a lot more range of motion by moving your feet than keeping your feet still. Okay, that'll come with time though. Let it come naturally little by little. Last punches we gotta learn today are the uppercuts. Now there's different variations depending on the type of bag that you have. The variation that we're gonna practice with this bag is we're gonna go directly into the belly, okay? Now, everyone's taller, everyone's shorter, so I want you, my fighter, to simply measure your own belly to the bag. That way you gotta, you know where you're going, okay? We're gonna continue with that left foot forward. We're gonna keep that right foot back. Hands are at our temples and we're bending those knees. Now, the uppercut is also a close strike hit. This time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load a little bit differently though. When you're here, I want you to start leaning towards the left. So we're gonna lean slightly to the left. Now we're gonna go ahead and drop that elbow down next to that hip, to the rib cage as well. But I want your palm facing the ceiling like this. Now we got that 90 degree going on here as well, keeping that forearm next to our waist, all right? So since we're leaned in, we got a lot of weight on our left side. We're gonna use that for momentum to drive that knuckle, the knuckles into the belly. Okay, so from here, simply rotate in, drive your knuckles into the belly of your bag, and you return back up. So again, we lean to the left, we load that uppercut, and we rotate through the hip to land knuckles into the bag, we return. Let's try this out. We lean, we row, so, and you come right back up to that temple, okay? Don't linger down here, you gotta cover that face again. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, and reset. Okay. Keep in mind, if you're coming in with your wrist like this or like this, you're bound to feel some pain. So make sure that you're going directly in. Wrist aligned with elbow, very important. I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler for that. I wanna make sure that you're having a good experience. Now that you're done with that left uppercut, we gotta do that right uppercut, right my friend? So, I'm gonna let you see me again. Remember that right foot is in the back, hands are here at the temple. We're gonna do it again. Pretend Coach Cole's bag is in front of her. So we're gonna go ahead and do our little lean to the right. Bam, okay, now I got my body weight to the right. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring that elbow down 90 degree, palm to ceiling. That's it. Now we're gonna use that pivot. So I'm gonna pivot through the ball of my foot, pushing my heel up, and you rotate in to the belly of the back, okay? Making it a full circle, come back up to the temple. So let's try this out. Left foot is forward, right foot is back, knees are bent. We're gonna lean slightly to the right. We drive in, 
right uppercut, come back to the face. Let's do five shots, ready? On three, two, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now let's put these together. Left upper, right upper, left upper, right upper. Notice how your hips shift every time. One, two, three, four, five. All right, my friends, so now we finished everything on the left side. So let's just summarize what we did on the right side, right? Because we got to be symmetrical here. So put that right foot forward, left foot is now back. The only thing that's now going to change is this is going to be your right jab. This is going to be your cross. So this is speed now. This is going to be thought of as power. So let's start with that right jab. Remember, all in the hip. Bam. Let's go for five shots. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now let me see that left cross. Make sure that you're pivoting through that back foot again. On three, keep that hand up. On two, and go. So you got those crosses on the left. Now let's gotta get into the right hook. Remember, you gotta go a little bit closer in. Elbow comes down, up and around. And we do that hook on around the side. So let's do five there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're gonna get into that left hook. Elbow comes down and around. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, fighter. Now let's do that right uppercut. We're almost done here. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's finish with the left uppercut. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, my friend, you know how to punch now. I want you to tune in for next video, and that's going to be all about the kicks. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you again next time.